guys you are welcome in my youtube channel for subscribe click here and for more option to get the notification you can choose send me all notification for this channel click save go again you see here you're notified mobile only go to manage settings and choose mobile and email so hi guys how are you I hope you are fine and good today uh, it's glad to see you here in my new videos so it's nice to see you again I'm Mohammed Saeed we are going to uh, to make a new video here with uh, some uh, interesting uh, topics yes we are going to talk about how to configure the uh, IP phones so now we are going to change from <laughs> MPLS to the to the IP phones so this is a good transition <laughs> yes so now as you see here in my topology uh, we have one router and one switch two IP phones and three PCs uh, and the first of all before I begin just I want to uh, to show you here what I have I have here in this section of videos uh, four sections four steps yes um, the fourth step here uh, it start with sub interfaces IP addresses and CME router here this is the CME router just I want just to change the name CME router a this is CME router a I want just to make it to make sub interfaces for three VLANs VLAN number one it's for management it will take this IP address 10.1.0.1 slash 24 and the second one fast ethan is 0.0.10 this is for VLAN 10 this VLAN is for data VLAN so it takes this IP address and the last VLAN it for VLAN 15 for voice VLAN it will take 10.15.0.1 which is slash 24 so I want to configure these sub interfaces in this router and also I want to configure in the switch here this link I want to make it encapsulation to 20 as trunk and something is interesting here I want to make two kind of uh, yes encapsulation I want to use just here is trunk encapsulation for this side and I want to use this is mode access for this side for this section for this IP phone I want to show you what is the difference between them and also I want to use this link as switch mode access for VLAN 10 because all PC here they they will take the IP address uh, from VLAN 10 and PC and IP phones they are used the DHCP server to take their yes or to, to get their IP addresses so now let's uh, begin now go to the router see you that's good now go to the router and conf t the first thing we want to go just to change the name cme router here and as you see here in my router i want to go to the <coughs> sorry fast interface fast ethernet is zero zero and make it no shutdown make it up so go exit now interface fast ethernet is zero zero dot one this is for VLAN one and I want to use encapsulation the 20 Q this is for VLAN it's a native VLAN we can look at this I don't want to use the VLAN one is a native I want to use VLAN 10 here let me show you something why so like this IB address it will be 10.1.0.1 sorry 10.1.0.1 255.255.255 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 zero so that's good interface fast ethernet sorry zero zero dot ten encapsulation dot one q for ten this vlan i want to use it as a native so now ib address here is ten dot ten dot zero dot one two five five two five five sorry two five five two five five this is zero the last one is interface fast ethernet zero zero dot fifteen this is for voice vlan encapsulation the 20 q is 15 the ib address it will be 10.15 sorry 
10.15.0.1.255.255.0. So that sounds good. Now exit. Now we configure the sub interfaces IP address. Now we are going to configure a switch here. Fast Ethernet 2 uh, and 1. I want to use it as uh, trunk. So, what I want to go there, I want to go to the Fast Ethernet 01. Enable. Conf T. Interface Fast Ethernet 01. I want to make it switch port mode trunk. Here is in back tracer. I can't use or choose the encapsulation here. Look at this. I don't have to use the encapsulation because it's by default. It's for to use the encapsulation to 20 Q. So no problem here. Here is I want to use a native VLAN is native VLAN 10. So sorry, VLAN 10. Uh, so we did this switch port trunk encapsulation VLAN 10. Now we are going to create our VLAN VLAN 10 as the name for data that's good the VLAN 15 the name is for voice yes now I want to make a uh, to make this layer 2 switch to be connected to the layer 3 through I want just to make the interface VLAN 1 yes and i want to make it to give it ib address 10.1.0.2 here is because i used the one for the router here is the two for the switch 255.255.255.0 don't forget to make no shutdown the second one so here is this is the layer two switch this is not layer three so this is layer two switch i should use the ib default gateway which is for 10.1.0.1 this ib address for the vlan one in the router so that's good sorry that's good so now uh, let's uh, just uh, to test it can we make a ping to the 10.1.0.1 see if we can do it or not so that's good now we can make a ping can we make a ping to the 10.1 that's gone to the 15.1 yes so now we have full reachability between switch layer 2 switch and layer 3 router here uh, so that's good we configure this link yes as a trunk now we are going to configure um, this link also as a trunk as you see here I have this PC connected with IP phone and IP phone connected directly with switch so here is I have two choices. I have to make this link as a switch mode access uh, or as a trunk. So here is in this section I want to use a trunk. I want to show you how to configure this. Conf T interface fast Ethernet 02. I want the first thing switch port mode trunk and uh, switch trunk native VLAN. Here is look at this. I used native VLAN here for 10 native vlan vlan 10 because the data vlan in the ip phone it will be untagged so i want to use the vlan 10 to be untagged and the voice vlan 15 it will be tagged vlan it will be it will not be untagged so this is very interesting to know it so this is vlan 10 and here is i want to add voice vlan 15. so now I should go to the uh, PC here look at this now I want just to make it again Shall I see it I should see it but uh, the interface here is amber state mm, so it will take a time just <clears throat> so that's good now should take it yes but we didn't have the ibdhcp pool yet so 
the IBDRC pool. Now I didn't give it now, so no problem. So go to the to this fast ethan is zero four and make this uh, link as a switch mode access. So go conf t interface fast ethernet zero four switch mode access switch access VLAN is ten because this VLAN for data and switch mode switch act switch port for voice VLAN is 15 so that's good now so now we are ready here uh, we are uh, going to make this as a switch port and a switch port mode access here is I also I want this PC to be as interface fast Ethernet 03 switch port mode access switch access VLAN 10 so now we are ready for the HCB pool we configure the switch port fast Ethernet 01 and uh, 02 as a trunk this link and this link and this link and this link as access now we are going to configure the DHCP pool for data and voice so go back to the router here is the before I create the DHCP pool name I want just to make IP DHCP exclude addresses which I don't want to distribute it by DHCP pool so now IP DHCP excluded from I want just to make IP DHCP pool for data and voice just so here is 10.10 .10 dot zero dot one this is I don't want to to distribute it by DHCP pool to the last one is ten dot sorry ten dot ten dot zero dot ten that's good and the second one is for voice VLAN which is fifteen here just I want to change this fifteen and IB DHCP pool the name is data pool it is the network here it's uh, 10.10.0.0 with 255 255 255 the default sorry what is that the default gateway is 10.10.0.1 so now exit and create the another pool here for voice pool that's good the network is 10.15.0.0255 255.0 the default gateway is 10.15.0.1 here is there is a extra command I want just to use it for the RCP pool for voice which is called option here is I have a range from 0 to 254 here is I want to use just 150 which is used to make yes the connectivity between or for yes to distribute the DHCP pool for voice VLAN yes which is for DHCP server so now this is good one here is I want to use the IP address the IP address will be for 10.15.0.1 this is the IP for DHCP server so now that's interesting thing I think now we are ready we configured everything DHCP pool here now I should see here now look at this now I see the IP address that's good and uh, can I see here yes now I can see also the IP address if we do this like this yes I can see this just make it refresh and make it refresh here also yes and uh, can we see here IP address yes look at this I can see what is that the IP address for 10.15.0.11 for this IP phone and uh, let's see here what we have and uh, uh, do we have here I want just to make it refresh this is the IP address yes for the PC and this is the IP address for the IP phone for this so so that's good so now Uh, that's sorry I want just to take this side so now we created the DHCP pool now 
the fourth step here uh, we are going to configure the CME router to work with IP phones I want to make IP phone here 1A to be able to call to the IP phone 2A so we are going back to the router here now the phone will begin so this is in the configure T the telephony server here service look at this and it should I should see here is a second keyword or a second options which is for setup to make it automatically but here in packet tracer doesn't support it so I will show you in the GNS3 how can we do this in the next video but here in this video I'm going to configure like this and now we are going to configure uh, here is the maximum e phone here is I have just two IP phones so this is the maximum and the maximum the number here I want to use just 20 it's not easy. it's not you can choose any number here now exit uh, I want to go to the e phone the number here one just to give it before that I want just to go to make show e phone sorry show e phone I don't see anything yet so show run see here yes I can see here the e phone the number one it's not uh, work yet yes so now show conf t the e phone sorry e phone number the the number one as i go there i want just to make the number here for one two three four so go exit and e phone number two i want just the number number two i want just to make it one two three four five as you see here look at this i have the lab state is up so that's good now go to the e phone number one i want to make a button here one one look at this this button this command it's so interesting uh, before i did this just i want just to make show e phones also i didn't see it yet show run here i have everything correct here yes if on the number one if on the number two so that's good so now conf t i want to go to the e phone number one the button here in the button i should use the line look at this i have two decimal the first one and the second one and they are separated by semicolon so what does that mean the second button here if you go there and look at this we have five buttons here one two three four five and six we have six button the command here it's responsible for the arrangement where is the router here here is the router. it's responsible for the arrangement of the ip phones here if i have multiple ip phones and each IP phone it has a name a specific name and specific number so the first number is this yes it's for the first button what does that mean that's mean is I want the first button here which is the first button number one to use for the IP phone number one yes so if you want to use the first button I want to use it for IP phone number two maybe the name of the IP phone number two like this so that's easy now just hit enter we need to configure the MAC address look at this it is I need a MAC address here so no problem go to the e phone number two and also the button the same thing also here is I need a MAC address look at this it should take it yes automatically but here's i don't see 
to take it. Maybe something strange here in packet tracer. I need. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, if you want one and if you want two, they are not taking the MAC address. So, no problem. It uh, doesn't take. Why? Because, yes, we forget to comfy interface sorry uh, here is telephony service here is i want to use the ip source address the ip source address which is for the ip address for port for telephony service so here is i need 10 but 15 to 0 to 1 this is for the ip address for this so this is responsible to yes to contact with IP phones so this is very important to do it uh, also with port with default 2000 so now you should see now yes look at this I know I can see it so that's good now I can see the IP phone the IP phone number one this is the MAC address for IP phone number one this is and this MAC address for the IP phone number two so that's good that's pretty good so now this is that's good let's end with D12 and this is for D12 so that's good now but it's still down look at this it's still down here still down still down so unregistered until now unregistered so what we need here we need to configure the button command so we are going to go to the e phone number one and the button command here as we said before 10 1 1 now go to the exit and uh, e phone number two now look at this now the ip phone has registered so that's good now this this ip phone you can see it yes it's registered it take this ip address takes this ip address so now but this ip phone it will not register yet look at this it doesn't have the sorry the number the phone number not ip address the phone number as the ip phone one so go there and make a button command one one uh their number is already used is already used let me just yes it's already used so it's comfy because we used for the iphone one here is i want to use it can use lot just like this um the number is one for phone number two like this this is the first button I want to use to choose the second IP phone so this is the logically thing so it is now it's registered now if you go to the show e phone now they are in idle state so that's pretty good now they are shit working now so if you go yes now it's registered now I want to call from 2a to the to 1a so I want to call from 2A to 1A. So go back to the 2A. Is it, it is 1A? It is 2A, yes. Just I want to call like this. I want to call to the 1, 2, 3, 4, which is for plan 1. Just hit enter. And look at this, it ring out. So now this IP phone, I can go there and answer. So now they are connected so that's pretty good now from vice versa here from from 1a to the 2a so now 1 2 3 4 5 hit enter and they are ring out so look at this i go there to answer so now that's good so and also we can make a ping from pc 2a to the pc 1a can we go there and test it Go to the prompt command. I want to ping. Uh, what is the IP address here? The IP address is 10.10.0.13. 10 it's 0 .13, 10 .10 0 13 Can I reach there? Yes, I can reach 
to this PC. So I can reach to the PCs. Yes, and the, and the IP phones can speak to each other. So this is the number for this, and this is the number for this IP phone. So we configured the CME router A to work with IP phones. So that's good. Now the last thing here, just imagine if I have the second IP pod and this second IP pod, it's remotely. It's not directly connected with this router. It's uh, from another side. Yes. How can I configure this? Um, as you see here, I uh, did, yes, uh, a ready scenario, a ready topology just. I didn't configure it, just a ready, just to save the time and make it here. And we want to connect this iPod area, this pod area with this pod area um, through the serial link. And I want this IP phones to be connected with this IP phones. So now how can I do this? Uh, the first thing we are going to configure the serial link here between router, this router, zero, zero, and between this. Zero, zero. So, zero, zero. Yes. Uh, and this uh, serial, I want to take it to give it the 172.16.1.0/24, and this for that one, and this for the two. So, what I want to do here. I want to make the same thing here, the same command. So just uh, what I want to do here, I want to configure this pod area with these steps. The same steps here, what I did here, I want to make it just with different uh, number IP phones. I want to use, uh, this is 2001. The number and this number is 2002 just this is the difference between them so just I want just to I don't want to repeat the same steps here just because I want to concentrate how to configure it when they are remotely so um, I want just to make here's show run i want just to make it copy paste to make it easy just i want to change some like the ip phone number and the ipdhcp pro and the vlan just like this uh, <clears throat> i want just to make it sorry uh, from here just just like this copy and i want to make it paste here in the notepad so that's good now the first thing here uh, as you see, I want to change, uh, here is uh, VLAN 1 is 20.1.0.1. This is start with 20, so a different subnet. So the IB address for sub interfaces, I want just to change it. Here is by 20 and also here by 20 uh, here is 20 yes for VLAN 10 and here is also for 20 so now we change it to the 20 20 20 here is just I want just to change this this is not 20 to 20 20 to 10 because for VLAN number 10 so and also here is VLAN number 10 not VLAN 20 so just be careful Yes, to correct it, uh, go back uh, to our configuration here. Uh, now, also, we are going to change the IBDHCP pool because we change this. We are going to change to the 20, to the 20, 20. Just change the IB address, the network, because the network is different. Here is the IBDHCP pool start from 20 and 20 to 10 to 1 and here's 20 and here's 20 
so we configure this uh, so we configure the sub interfaces and IBDSCP pool and also we are going to change the number here let's go down again here is also the IP source address is 20.15.0.1 the same port I want to use it uh, the, the, the number one I want to use for uh -huh, for 2001 this is the number phone number and here is two for 2002 just to make sure this is the mac address 00 d0 and 00 d0 97 bb is 9732 so i think this it will be 2001 and this it will be 2002 no problem just uh, don't forget to make this connected the power to the power and this also connected to the power yes uh -huh. yes that's good um so I'm just to go back here yes so uh -huh. now the mac address it will change look at this i don't want to make this this mac address it will change so i i can delete it because it will take it automatically yes and also i want to delete this take it automatically also so now i think um, i have maximum iphone 2 we change this and this and this button button they are ready so now let's go to make it select all copy and go to this router and i want just to change the host name cme router b now i want just to make uh, paste my configuration here just let me see Uh, show IP interface a brief here is I need to make conf t to the interface fast ethan zero zero make it no shutdown I want just to make show run uh, here is I just I want to make sure about IP phone here is 10.15.0.1 and uh, doesn't take it yet because it's not uh, directly connected with it so first before that I want to go to the to this switch and make it also show run just for quickly thing I won't want to, to waste the time just I want to make it copy and paste copy here is I want just to open a new notepad for switch here is it yes uh, as you see here the th same thing and the, I think they are the same interfaces Fast Ethan is 0, 01, there is for VLAN 1, for VLAN 10, yes, and uh, 2 here I want to use it as a trunk, no problem, and the voice VLAN is 15. Dot 3 here is I want to use it as switch, but here is something, uh, here is I want just, this is for 4, and this is for 3, just uh, because 3 here is connected with IP phone so now also i want just to change also the interface vlan with 20 and also the ib default gateway with 20. now i think it's ready copy like this and go to the switch and uh, enable conf t before that, I will just want to go there and show e phone. Sorry, show e phone. I don't see anything. That's good. So now go to this switch and make it paste. So now I think show ID. 
I sorry show IB <laughs> this is second layer to switch so show IP interface brief just I want to make sure they are up yes uh, here is the conf T the interface sorry interface interface VLAN one I want to make it no shut down and uh, I want just to shake it show VLAN this is very important yes I have it just I want to change the name VLAN 10 is the name for data and VLAN 15 name sorry for voice VLAN so now show VLANs so that's good show interface trunk that's good uh -huh. yes I should see it here didn't see it yet to this router see anything yet so it will take a time uh, just uh, go to the switch and can I make ping just to, to, to test the reachability 10 that one sorry 20 that one the zero that one can I go there yes that's good and 20 to 10 that's good that 15 So that's good now I can go there I want just to make this to take it as DHCP yes takes there for VLAN 10 for data so that's good and this PC to take it also that's good and this PC should take it also that sounds good so this IP phone doesn't take it yet maybe it takes a time for takes a time just you want just to make be patient <clears throat> so configure it yet so take the ID address mm -hmm. let me see maybe I didn't change let me see the show run here show run mm -hmm. Yes, I didn't uh, change. No, I change it. Twenty dot fifteen dot zero dot one. Twenty default route. This default route. Show IB interface brief. Twenty dot fifteen dot zero dot one. Yes, and show run here. Fifteen. Yes, and this is the native. So I think it's. should take it I want just to make copy sorry copy running to the startup just to make save my configuration my configuration here doesn't take it maybe I need to make it shut down and no shut down yes take it time Just uh, it will take a time. It's just to here is it as you see here. Here is twenty to fifteen. The DICB for data is ten, and the default route is that the voice. Oh shit! I didn't change this. So conf t just miss a mistake. No problem. So go to the uh, this IB DICB for copy based yes uh, here is uh, I want just to change the network 20.15.0.0 255 0 now I think it will works now yes now go there take it some time just uh, just I want to make it uh, here's like this just to make it down and up yes and also here down as up so should they take now so now uh, as you see here uh, takes 
Some takes the IP. Here's takes yes, 20.15. Finally, they gave it. Now here is it. Maybe it takes time here. Configuring CMI. Yes, it takes. So now this is it's need to configure the CM list just and also here needs configure the CM list so that's good yes now the IP address is ready and this is ready so that's good now go to, go to the router should do now to see it so now uh, they are ready so now go to the router and uh, make it uh, show e -form. yes now I have it I have the e -phone number one with this for three for c3a which is for this no for this this is the IP phone number one yes for 2000 and one and this is IP phone number two for 2002 this is the phone number so now yes so now we are going to uh, configure it. they are down uh, just we want to configure why they are down so now what we have here I don't have the pot on here so I want to go to the conf T and e phone number one the pot on here is one one uh, e phone two the button here is the button now it's changed to it it has registered so that's good now so button is one two so that's good sorry show e phone they are idle now the second one they are in idle state so that's good now they are in idle and they can reach to each other so now i go to the to call to the 2002 it's ring out if you go there you can see it ring so i can, can answer they are connected so that's good now i want to uh, i want to uh, can or to be able to ring from this ip phone to this ip phone and vice versa from this ip phones to this ip phones so here is uh, I want just to make it interesting I want just to uh, give it the IP address for this serial which I didn't do it yet so now go conf t interface serial 000 the IP address is 172.16.1.2.255.255.255.0 with no shutdown here is I want to use the static or the default route, the IP route 000000 to the next hop is 7216.1.1, which is this second next hop. So go to this router and make configure also the serial interface. Enable conf t interface fast ethan serial 000 now i want to make ib address with 172.16.1. sorry 1.1255255255.0 clock rate is 64000 with no shutdown that's good now it's working and also here i want static route the default route sorry to the next top 172.16.1.2 so now that's pretty good now I can uh, can I make a ping I want just to make a ping from this PC to this PC 
this is what is that 10 to 10 to 0 to 15 so go there ping to the 10 to 10 to 0 to 15 can I reach there mm -hmm. yes now I can go there so the ping it's working so that's good uh, so now I want just to make this IP phones to be reachable so how can I do this uh, here is I first of thing I want to go to this router and I want to show you how can I go to do that look at this I want the first thing to go to the configuration terminal and here is something called dial peer I want to make dial peer dial peer it's used if I use if I have a remotely IP phones so I want to use dial peer here for voice here is I want to use just the the DLP tag any DLP tag here is I want to use just six uh, for voice over IP here and um, here is I want to use the second two commands the first thing I want to use a session target here session target here I want to use our word here is IP version 4 um, which is for 172.16.1.2 one dot two this IP address for the next hub of the dial peer so that's it and also here is something called destination patterns so here is the destination patterns uh, here is I have 2001 and I have called 2002 so here is uh, to be actually here is um, uh, we have many ways to use the destination patterns or different shapes or different um, yes different ways so I can if I uh, can use like this 2000 and if I do it this dot so I can use like this two dot two o o and one this it's uh, called any number after uh, zero so it will include 2001 and 2002 uh, so like this and this is the destination patterns for this router and uh, go, go to the exit here and uh, let's see go to the router this router and make the appear here also for voice the tag is 6 for voice over IP session target is the IP version 4 for uh, here is 172.16.1.1 and the destination patterns is look at this here is I have a uh, number 1234 and 12345 so I can use here like this 1234 dot which is mean 1234 and 1235 so just like this and now I should uh, show iPhone just to make sure if I have it yes they are in either state that's good now go to this uh, IP phone and I want to make a ring to the here is one two three four five so go one two three four five hit enter now it's ring out so that's good now I can reach remotely to this IP phone yes and go to this IP phone maybe this um, uh, here is it maybe like this I want to contact with 2002 so that's good now I can reach to this patterns so now I think uh, here is uh, everything in his this video we configured uh, the single pod with a local area between two IP phones and here is also I configured uh, the remotely yes configuration and we know it how can we do this uh, we also discussed uh, we can use this as a trunk or as a switch access uh, we used a VLAN number 10 as the untagged VLAN and VLAN 15 for voice VLAN and it was tagged so uh, this is uh, interesting thing to know it so next video we are going to see how can we do this by GNSC3 and VMware it will be very very interesting 
uh, but because Genesis 3 it doesn't support the layer 2 switch or yes the switches so uh, I preferred here's today to make this video in Backtracer now uh, that was that that was everything I hope this valuable for everyone wants to know the basic uh, configuration for voice uh, so I hope this is valuable for everyone so bye bye guys see you later